Well guys, it's time for the final video of my Alaskan road trip. Uh, if you guys happened to watch the last video, I did get banned from Canada, so I need to fly home and not drive home. So hopefully, I have asked Jeb and Jerry to film a little bit of their drive back through Canada, but that'll be just a Jeb and Jerry special. I will not be in it. Um, right now, I'm in the, the hostel room that I uh, got for tonight in Anchorage, and my flight is tomorrow night. It leaves at 12.25 a.m. It'll get into Portland at 4.55 a.m. And then Jerry's friend will pick me up from there and I will meet Jerry and Jeb down in Portland. So, we're, so I'll vlog most of what I can. I'll catch up to you guys tomorrow night where my flight is. Day two of me being uh, stranded in Anchorage, Alaska with no car, no transportation. Um, my flight leaves at midnight. It is currently 8 o'clock. I'm going to get to the airport by 10, so I'm going to have two hours to get checked through everything. So, see so yeah, at 10 o'clock, and uh, I guess I'll Uber over to the airport and then get on the plane. Here we are at the airport. Boarding the flight now, it's 12.30 a.m. So we made it to Portland in the suburbs now. That's where I'm staying. I would not recommend um, red-eye flights. That kind of sucked. I couldn't sleep when I was sandwiched. But at least we made it to Portland. Also, that's the first time I've been on a plane in probably seven years. So I didn't 100% remember what I was doing. But now I just got to wait till Jeb and Jerry gets here. And uh, I suppose I'll just wander around Portland until that happens. Okay, it's our second full day of being separated from the rural Vermonter after leaving him in Anchorage. And we're here in Deese Lake, British Columbia. They only gave us 24 hours to get through Yukon after passing through in Beaver Creek. So we had to make a 13 hour drive yesterday to get here. Now we're taking 12 hours to get to Prince George. So yeah, it's been, it's been pretty fun, but sad without our boy, rural Vermonter. We are getting closer and closer to Prince George, going farther and farther south, and uh, now we're at 8 degrees Celsius. Earlier today, I think it was, like this morning, it's probably negative 10 or something. So now, there's no snow, so things have definitely been getting warmer. The gas out here is really expensive. Um, we got 87 octane, and it's 160.9 um, cents per liter. So that puts it at about 142 dollars, and that's that's Canadian, but that's for about a little over 20 gallons. So pretty darn expensive out here. Abbotsford, uh, Canada, and we're about to cross the border, so wish us luck. We're in um, the U.S. now, in Washington, and uh, we got through the border without a problem. Yep, yeah, the guys there, they were a lot nicer than, the, or a lot less strict than the ones up in Beaver Creek. They even apologized for um, the Beaver Creek people giving us such a hard time and uh, banning RV for a year, so that was nice of them. Okay, so uh, Jeb and I made it into Washington and uh, we found a little campsite here. Um, so while Jeb is going to the bathroom, uh, I'm just going to sit it up real quick. Uh, it's my first time doing this, so watch that. And just like that, with the power of editing, we set the tent up. We're in uh, Burlington, Washington, and uh, we just found my uh, dealership name. My name is Jerry Smith. So. I'm very excited about that. What do you think, Jeb? Well, I'm glad you found your dealership. Yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> hey guys, so Jeb and Jerry finally made it into town. Finally. Jerry's not here right now, but Jeb is. We're going on a hike. Uh, this is the ocean. Wow, we drove all over the ocean. 
about an, hour, about an hour and a half from Portland. This is called Cannon Beach. It's really beautiful out here. Jerry's just, the reason Jerry's not here is because he's way faster than us walking. So we're just trying to catch him up. <laughs> so we caught up to Jerry on the trail. Uh, next to Jerry is his friend Kibbles who hiked the Appalachian Trail with him. And she's showing us around Portland and letting us stay at um, her house. <laughs> Beautiful out here. That's Jerry in his swim trunks. He's the only one swimming. This is for YouTube Jeb smile. smile. Wow, look at that view! What? That's sick. Nice one. Take some pictures. We made it to a nice view. There's Jeb being Jane from Titanic. Jeb looks funny. Say hi, Jay. What's Jake. Good? All right, guys. Well, we had a good time in Portland, Jerry and Jeb. We stayed there a couple of days. Um, Sam showed us around, like I said. This is actually a really nice city. A little bit too hipstery for me. They're trying to do all these new things. I don't know. What do you think, Jeb? You liked it? Yeah. A little hipstery? A lot of homeless, though. Yeah, a lot hipster, of homeless. homeless is what I minded. So now we're headed to um, Glacier National Park, and we're going to be home in six days, so we gotta make it from Oregon to Vermont in six days. We can do it. This is where we slept last night. First night, or first day again back on the road after that short little break for me with the flight in the Portland. A little bit cold, but it's all right. Here we are entering Glacier National Park. Here's a view from Glacier National Park. Here's a view of a Chevrolet. Hard to tell which view is better. Both pretty good. It's three o'clock now. We're gonna go on a 10 mile hike up that mountain. So if we die, then that's where we are, I guess. We're on the hike now. One mile in, averaging three miles per hour. So we should make it to the top before sundown. And you guys will have a nice view. Well guys, we made it to the elevation where it's the snow zone now. As you can see, we are clearly wearing the correct footwear for the job. <laughs> it's shown by Jeb there. Let's see if we make it to the top. Well, it looks like we've run out of trail. It came up to here and it ended. But this is a pretty beautiful lookout here. It's really nice view of Glacier National Park we pretty much get the whole shebang so we made it it's only five o'clock ish sun's still high I guess we'll head back down after we take a little break made it down the mountain clearly that's Jeb backing in if you can tell by his reversing skills <laughs> um, we're staying at the Hotel Oyo tonight mm -hmm. It's actually pretty nice. It only cost 50 bucks a room and it was impressively clean. Oh, so this is in Shelby, Montana. All right, good night, y'all. Back on the road again today. Uh, we're gonna stop by the Badlands tomorrow, so we're getting pretty close there today. Jerry over here took a wrong, wrong turn and gave us a 30 minute extra drive. What do you have to say? I'm very yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh... Well, it's been a while, but uh, we're back in the snowland. And by the way, it's like April, like 10th, and it's still snowing. Boo, snow. Jeb just got pulled over. Mother. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Everything all right? Yeah, I was looking for the hotel. Okay. I, I realized I entered in the town of. Um, it was the town that we're in instead of the actual hotel. Oh, so, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I saw you parked there and then you did the illegal <laughs> U-turn, so. Oh, yeah. Yep. Because I realized it was that one way to the right, so. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got your driver's license, registration, insurance yeah, on you real quick, you man. Go. What are you guys trying to get to? We're trying to get to the Super 8. Super 8? Okay. It's the Super 8 here in town, right? Yeah, the one that's, the one that's like, three minutes away. Okay. 
Yep. So to get there, when we get back out here, just take a left, and then a left back on the main street. And then the next four-way stop you have up there, you'll see it on the left. So uh, it's not too far. Registration. There you go. Perfect. There's that. There's both the IDs back there. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys know where you're Thanks. going now. Just yeah, it's yeah, down that way. Cool. Thanks. Alrighty, you guys have a safe trip, alright? Thanks. Thanks. Well, there was the audio recording. There's the cop back there. Jeb uh, pulled an illegal UE. He pulled us over. Um, gave me a warning or Jeb a warning. Jeb, do you feel blessed? Yes, I do. Yeah. Nice cop. Made it to our Super 8. It's only 46 bucks a night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the new day. We're about an hour from the Badlands now. We're back in the Badlands. Got some buffalo up there. Yeah. Jerry and I just hiked up here. It's pretty tall. My car's all the way back down there. Ooh. Sketchy stuff. So here I am on this bridge here. I'm the most nimble of us all. <laughs> Possibly. Let's see if Jerry and Jeb can make it up here. Let's see where it looks, guys. Jerry, how's it? I'm not much of a rock climber. What? I'm not much of a rock climber. Ah. Can Jerry make the climb? This is hard. <laughs> Jeb is now headbutting Jerry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't even know this. No, they're not actually. <laughs> but they're just having a little struggle. Jerry made it. He had a little Whoa. struggle after making fun of us for saying it wasn't that steep. Eh. steeper than it looks. There you go. Jeb is still struggling. Jeb finally made it. He had to use my help. I had to go back down and give him a foot. <laughs> Jeb and Jerry have reached another impasse. Oh, Jerry with, or Jeb with the jump. Can Jerry do it next? Ah. You just have to not think and just do. Because if you, you just have to, you can't just, you can't go under shoot, but you can overshoot and you'll be fine. Jerry, nice job. All right, here we are tonight, guys. This is our second to last night on the road. Uh, we're in Iowa right now. Tomorrow we'll make it to Ohio. Uh, we're parking here, camping here tonight. Here in Iowa. Have Jerry set up the old tent. Illinois? Yeah. Oh, guys, my bad. We're in Illinois, not Iowa. They both look the same to me. <laughs> no offense to y'all Midwesterners. Uh, but thank you, Jeb, for pointing that out. Anyway, we're going to set up this camp and go to sleep. Morning time. Time for us to pack it up and uh, get back on the road. Here we are back in the state of Ohio. Only one more day till we'll be back home. Stopping at Jerry's friend's house again on the way home. Tomorrow's gonna be a 12 hour drive, 12 hour trek just to get home because Jeb has work the next day. And it's just about time to get back. So we're gonna book it back tomorrow. But uh, tonight we're going to go to sleep here again in Ohio. Well, guys, it's the morning of our last day on the road. This is, uh, it's been uh, a month and 20 days about, or no, a month and 14 days. So it's been a long trip. We're going to get home tonight. We got a long trek home. It's 12 hours. We just crossed into New York State. Next state, Vermont. Only four hours left now on our trip and we're gonna be done nearly a month on the road we're in upstate New York now just one more state to go switching drivers for the last leg of the road trip we've just been doing two hours so everybody had a two two two-hour shifts for a total of 12 hours we're all relying on Jeb to bring us home safely now that's a I hope he can do it but uh, we're about two hours from home it's eight o'clock it's at the road We're 
we're almost back. We're gonna drop Jerry off first, then we're gonna drop Jeb off, and then we're gonna finally head back to the ARV headquarters. Jerry's grabbing his stuff and he's leaving us. Say bye to the camera. Bye everyone. You might see Jerry again in future videos. He might come on some of my trips anyway. But there's Jerry. He was happy to meet you and now he's headed home. I just dropped off Jeb. Didn't catch that on camera, but he'll be he'll be around still as you guys know. He's he'll be on the channel still. Time to head to my house now. Home sweet home. Here's some Mileage facts, the entire trip was 12,164 miles and our average miles per gallon was 15.9. Could have done better, but we chose to drive a little quickly. Sorry for the bad lighting, guys, but thank you all so much for watching this. It was a really fun trip. Um, even if I did get banned from Canada and deported, uh, it's all it's all part of the experience. So I had a great time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go pet Beetle and go to sleep. Hi. 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 Hey, look how happy Beetle is. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. She just pushed me over. Oh, my God. Hi. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that?